Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Last time, we beat... We fought Vulcan Raven in an Abrams tank. We had a fist fight with a cyborg ninja. And we met up with Dr. Emmerich, the chief, the lead engineer, designer behind Metal Gear Rex. We are going to call him really quick. And then we're going to talk. Still haven't found Meryl? Snake. The Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there, too? So now we have to go find Meryl. Now, the first thing I want to touch on is this, actually. This poster. That is Police Knots. And that was Kojima's previous... I think it was his immediate, like, his previous game just before this. And Meryl was a character in Police Knots. And I think Foxhound is mentioned too. But anyway, what I want to touch on is during that boss fight, the cyborg ninja we discovered is, uh, I guess, an old friend of Snake's named Gray Fox. Up until now, we haven't seen Snake show too much emotion other than, like, anger and annoyance. But when Gray Fox gets brought up, he is obviously emotional. Like, he's distraught a little bit. Gray Fox was a Foxhound operative that in Metal Gear, he was originally, he was the first person to be sent to the base in the original Metal Gear. Oh god! Turn gun. Snake goes in and saves him, and then in Metal Gear 2, spoilers, although they've already said it, he turns out to be, I guess, a bad guy, and him and Snake have a fist fight in a minefield, and Fox is ultimately killed, and overall that has greatly, you know, he was kind of like Snake's mentor in a way, and him and Snake are relatively close, so him being alive and relatively well is kind of a shocker. But he was used for their, uh, for Foxhound's genome, gene therapy experiments. I can't talk. I should put on my gas mask. That is a level 5 door that I cannot open. Oh, shite. Alright, we need to leave because I'm going to die. Oh, um, and we have to go and find Merle. That is our current objective, is to locate Meryl. That's just a ration and some other stuff. So why don't we go and find Meryl? Now remember, she's disguised as one of the genome soldiers. And also remember back in like the second episode, I said, remember the booty, follow the booty. And Otacon has also told us to follow the booty. Meryl has a very distinct way of walking. So, we're going to have to look at the guard's butts. I believe it's that one. I think it's, it's that one. Yeah, that's her right there. We want her to see us. And... We're going to keep up with her. I like how she fucking disappears. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. 
When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. It's the only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down. I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father, he was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol, too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. 
All right, so we have met up with Meryl. If you, if you beat her, or if when she comes in here, if you're quick enough, it's like five seconds. She'll be in her underwear. That's strange. There's no guard. That music. What stopped. happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? But she'll be in her underwear. If you're longer than five seconds, she will have her pants on. <laughs> And so, funny thing with Meryl, I guess not funny, but she was originally, in the original concept stages, she was a preteen, and they didn't age her up due to the, you know, weird sexual, not weird sexual stuff, but like the sexual tension between her and Snake. They aged her up, from what I read, because the concept artist, um, Shoji, Yoji, Shoji Shinka, why can't I remember this dude's name? Um, read the f script, and since, there's the night vision goggles, since she was going to use a desert eagle, he was like, oh, well, a 12-year-old girl is not going to be able to use a desert eagle, so they aged her up. Cardboard box. Yeah. Also, some things we can do with Meryl. Let's see if she does it. Wow, she's tall! <laughs> is she going to do it? What? She is. What is it? Pay attention to her face. What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Don't stare at me like that. Notice that her face continues to get redder as you stare at her. <laughs> what are you doing? We've got to get a move on. I think she has one more line of dialogue. What? What is it? No, nope, she just repeats herself. We can also do this. Oh, she's not gonna... Is she gonna do it? Yeah, there she goes. <laughs> if you hit her, she will you smack thinking? you back. And if you have low enough health, she will kill you. There's one more thing we can do with her um, in a little bit. So I want to get into the, you know, like, basically that cutscene. I mean, we just helped her in through her little, I guess, existential crisis. She's just not sure if she wants to be a soldier, if she's cut out to be a soldier. I thought there was another piece of dialogue you could get with her from staring at her. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? So she's starting to act a little weird. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. And what's with that, like, echo to her voice? And if we go into first person view, we see the world from Meryl's point of view. Hmm, that's bizarre. She has apparently turned on us. Snake. Oh, do you like me? What the? Do you like me? Hold me, Snake. What's wrong? Oh, oh, hurry, hurry. Make love to me. Oh, Snake, I want you. What's that apparition behind her? Oh, we're gonna get a call. Because remember, Meryl's the colonel's niece. Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psychomantis. 
He's controlling Meryl. Ah. He uses mind control music. So we get to meet Don't our next Foxhound weapon. member. Try to knock her out. So she's being controlled by Psycho Mantis. <laughs> So yeah, don't shoot Meryl, just punch and kick. If she shoots you, she does a lot of damage. That Desert Eagle doesn't tickle. Yeah, that Desert Eagle does not tickle. Don't let her shoot you. Useless woman. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power? I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You are a very methodical man, the type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior, well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. Hmm. You have not said it often. You are somewhat reckless. I can read you like an open book. The demonstration is over. And we are now we have a boss fight against Psycho Mantis. Now that scene where he uh, says that you're highly skilled and all that, depending on how many times you've been spotted and how many enemies you've killed or things like that, will change that dialogue. He'll say things like, you know, oh, you're not suited to this mission, things like that. Now, remember, he's psychic. We Exactly. If you get a beat in on him, he will move out of the way. So we can't shoot him. What we can do is call Campbell. That's Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. All right, so after a little bit, Campbell will tell you what to do. What you want to do is, let me pick up my little PS Classic. You want to take your controller from controller port one, and you want to plug it into controller port two. Because now he can't read your mind. Man, you bugger, bugger. So yeah, now he can't read your mind, so you can actually hit him. And then he's going to start getting confused, like, hey, how can you do that? Oh! There's also one other thing you can do to cause damage to him. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting caught on the geometry. Fuck!
Why am I not auto locking? I'm gonna end up dying again. Ah, there we go. So he'll do this, and now we won't be able to hit him again because he has figured out our trick. So we have to change back to controller port one. But there's also one other thing you can do to hurt him, or to make it to where he can't read your mind. There is a statue over here in the back of the room with his face on it. I think it's that one right there. If you shoot it, you'll be able to hit him. It's either that or it's this one. One of these two statues you can shoot. Oh god. Oh, okay, it's not working. Go back to control port two. Hmm. Normally that works. But yeah, one of the statues you can shoot. And if you contact the colonel enough, he'll eventually tell you plug your controller into controller port two. Because I don't know why I'm using the FAMAS, but... I will say this is probably the... Out of all the fights we've had, this is probably the hardest. God damn it. Because eventually you will have to change controller ports a couple of times. God damn, I'm gonna die. Yep. And also, if you die enough, Colonel will just eventually call you and go, Hey, dumbass, change your controller. Alright, this time we will not die. I'm gonna leave that up here so that I can actually get to it. Should start out right at the beginning of the fight. Wait, why did I... Nope. We gotta go... How many herbs? Herbs. <laughs> oh, I gotta grab these fucking rations again. I can't believe I've died so much in this LP. Though, again, I have not played OG Metal Gear in a long, 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 long time. Like, I... I think the last... I can't remember the last time I played the original... I wish I could go grab a few more rations. Alright, let's go back and deal with Mantis. Oh, there's one thing I wanted to point out in the conversation that they have about Gray Fox with uh, Naomi. She says that uh, Dr. Clark she says the name Dr. Clark and she okay. says he. Dr. Clark is not a he. Dr. Clark okay. is a she. In the English version, she uses he multiple times. In Japanese version, she only uses the equivalent identifier once. And then in the novelization and then in future games, it is confirmed that Dr. Clark is a she. Not exactly relevant right now, but Dr. Clark is a she. Also, another thing is, when they spell out Foxhound, they have that hyphen. The official spelling for Foxhound is one word, all caps. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill your niece, Colonel. Oh, another thing with Psycho Man is how I said, you know, his dialogue changes based on, uh, right here, based on, can I not skip this? Yeah, I can. Based on, uh, how many people you've killed and how many times you've been spotted. The other things he will do is, depending on the saves you have on your memory card, he'll be like, oh, you like Castlevania if you've got Symphony of the Night or, you know, things like that. I don't remember any of the PlayStation ones. I remember some of the GameCube, the, uh... 
um, Twin Snakes version. Like, he'll be like, oh, you like Super Mario Sunshine or uh, Super Smash Brothers or things like that. Where do you go? Totally random, but the last three rounds in the FAMAS's mag kind of seek out the enemy a little bit. They have a little bit of, like, a curve to them, so they'll kind of follow. So this is the best way to deal with him, is to just stay on his ass, and when he stops, hit him. And then, he's got to dodge the shit he throws at you. Ooh, I didn't realize that was going to get so close. I like Psycho Man, it's a lot too. I really like a lot of the characters in these games. Who shut up, phone? Why can't I read your mind? Same as before, don't shoot Meryl, and don't let her shoot you. Her gun does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, he'll do that too. Ooh, we got that shot off. Good. Holy need. Dick. I'm sorry. So yeah, um, don't let her do that, or it is a game over. Stop, Meryl. So beat the shit out of her. No. no. All right, that is the last time he will do anything with Meryl, and he's starting to get frustrated. Oh, and if you go into first-person view here, you see things from his perspective. can actually use that to get a beat on where he is, I do believe. Damn it! I didn't move in time. I'm catching him too late. Damn it! Also, I feel like I'm not auto-locking onto it like I should be. Damn it! I'm either too late or... Yeah, now he'll... He gets a little desperate and starts throwing a lot of shit at you at once! Ugh. Shit. Oh god, I'm out of ammo for my FAMAS. I need like one more shot game. There we go. <laughs> that was a fun time. Probably the most complex boss we fought so far. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. 
I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, I used the other computer. I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. <laughs> Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish. An atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. Never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place? Yes. 
a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. So we've officially fought three members of Foxhound. We've only killed one. Mantis is the only Foxhound member that we have killed. And I like Mantis's last moments because you I like you get to learn his story and I always liked the characters in Metal Gear. I know people I know there's people that don't. I always liked the you know the characters and the characterizations and things like that. Always been something I enjoy. Well, hell, actually, I just looked and this episode has gone. These episodes are going for much longer than I originally intended to. So for now, that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will try to be... That's what I'm looking for. To kind of go over the things that are happening. and Not that I need to, but I feel like it's my duty. <laughs> duty. To do it but we do have our next objective and it is to continue to metal gears underground maintenance base and we will pick up with that next time until then thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed i know i did and i hope to see you next time till then take it easy have a good one